All right, Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasun. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. You know the deal. It's time for Miss Marvel, new show to Disney Plus. Let's hope they knock it out of the park. I have no idea. Like, I don't know. Some of these, di like, within the second year of Disney Plus, it's kind of like eh, a little hit or miss on some of these shows, right? Like, they don't really carry as much weight as they once uh, did, but they're fun nonetheless. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how well uh, Miss Marvel pulls off because it's not really, it's not something that people were like, gunning for like I, I like the trailer i thought it looked look well but you know uh i want to remind everybody that it may not really be targeted for the older male audience um i don't think it is i honestly don't think it is i think it's disney trying to add more stuff to their lineup and for their bigger audience which can, it also includes surprise surprise women you know and that, there's nothing wrong with that the one of the reasons they put out miss marvel and obi-wan at the same time on Di uh, on disney plus because there's something for everybody uh, i don't think there's much of a crossover it just so happens what we do here on comics plus it kind of lines up with that star wars and marvel it, it combines sometimes you know but you know a good reason why obi-wan and the boys are not on at the same time because uh you know amazon doesn't want to compete with that and uh, uh disney doesn't want to complete and amazon was uh, having enough problems with stranger things oh uh, no 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 was it obi-wan i think it was obi-wan right obi-wan and stranger things at the same time right whatever anyways y'all uh let's go ahead and get into it um i like i know that they changed some of the powers or something like that but uh we'll see how this all plays out it's 50 minutes that's uh i think that's like 20 minutes longer than <laughs> the obi-wan episode today let's see how it all plays out full reaction is available on patreon make sure you check that out it's supporting the channel supporting the site we'll make it all right and your latest reaction to the beginning of miss marvel starts now uh are they gonna be playing that music ding 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 Finally, the moment right. everyone has been waiting for. Stones, our heroes were done for. Until... Why does everybody know this story so well? Blasted it. Now who was this glorious the general Black audience knows all Due this. Due to my extent, Scott Lang's podcast interviews, I would leave okay. three things to be true. Avenger Con, is there really... Wow, Jersey getting a lot of love here. Day. You really gonna have cons in Jersey? <laughs> Oh my god, I have the same keyboard. Five views only? I want to subscribe. Oh my god, she's so relatable. She's like me. I thought you start by turning the car on. He looks familiar. Wait, was it he in Homecoming? Oh my god. What? That's my car. <laughs> alright, alright. Mm. Hey, there's Stark Tower, Avengers Tower. That the new Baxter building now? Not gonna lie, like I'm getting Gotham Knights vibes right now. <laughs> like, but not as bad, not as bad. But it's kind of very similar to Homecoming, to be honest. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Junior year, it's time to start really thinking about your future. I mean, college. Greater expectations. Who is that girl I see? Staring Who is that? Did you just quote Mulan? You're setting lyrics from Mulan. I am. Yeah, I am. You are. Listen, you enter your home. You sit down at the dinner table. He kind of looks like a Peter Smile. Parker. <laughs> it's no Cardboard. Way. Cardboard. Any ideas? Next time, use some uh, PVC, I believe that's what it's called. Foam. Okay, hey, let's Whoa. This is crazy. And I think that was a nod toward the multiverse zombie. Show's not bad. I, as I mentioned, it just is not necessarily designed to attract to someone like me. But I think it's well put. It's put together really well. Definitely more than I can expect from uh, Gotham Knights. <laughs> kind of has the directing pacing of Birds of Prey for some reason. Wait, who is this kid again? Is he just basically discount Peter Parker? 
There's a spicy one at the bottom for no now. Okay? Nice. Oh, that was quick, that packing. So fast. <laughs> right? You stick to the gizmos better. This is my secret. Okay. You, you do trust me, right? No, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> of course you don't. No, that's good. I don't. That, that's good. <laughs> Actually, she that's... Does. How exactly will you be dressed? Uh-oh. As Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's kind of got Stargirl vibes to, to it, but just a bigger production, way bigger production. That's pretty cool. That's really cool, man. That's really cool. How they, this is probably the most clever way I've ever seen text being incorporated into the movie or story. Fits well. <laughs> kind of looks like some of those uh, <laughs> insomniac outfits that you would get. The Hulk! <laughs> wait, wait, best is yet to come. Ta-da! Oi, just that pussy! <laughs> ah! Ah! Cute you all will look. <laughs> yo, yeah, I was about to say, yo, if my parents ever did that, it's time to divorce them. No big Hulk, not just like that, because it is so humiliating. Damn, that's fucked up, actually. You're not going to dress up like all those other girls in skimpy outfits. That is not you. That is a good point, though. I mean, as a parent, I kind of get it. I've been to enough anime expos where I'm like, your parents know you're dressed like this? <laughs> he looks ridiculous, though. <laughs> He looks ridiculous. It's not bad though, but it just he still looks ridiculous. Oh my god, you made these? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like them? Yes. Is that like Tom Holland's brother or something? Cause bro. I like it. That's a nice ring to it. Damn, I see you, Disney. <laughs> Wait, was that Tony <laughs> uh, Tony Stark ish person? Oh, that's so good. Interesting that the convention is starting so late. Wow, that's actually pretty cool, though. Wow, it's kind of like the game, actually. Not gonna lie, Kevin Feige, if he makes this happen in real life, be kind of cool. <laughs> Why does the general public just know all these people so much? I feel like he's supposed to be a mix between Peter Parker and Marty McFly. No. Wow. I mean, uh, see, your mom wasn't wrong. The costume's not even accurate. She doesn't even like the Avengers. Oh, I know, it's okay. It's okay. Is she competing against her? It's the comic version. Costume's not even accurate. Nice. Amazing. Avenger Con. Oh, cool. So it looks like Comic Cons before mind. the whole San Diego Comic Con took over and such. Where are the Oh shit. What? <laughs> Winner! What 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 is this guy in the back doing? <laughs> Wow, some generic applause. Whoa! Oh. Okay, I thought she I thought she just murdered somebody. She knows she's right there, dude. Yep. Your great, your family, your story. I mean and her star is falling. This world, huh? I'm Spider-Man. Trust the bro. Hey, that's cool. I like Akon. Akon. They should have just been calling it Akon the entire time, but maybe it would have been a, too weird. 
Yeah, this was pretty solid. This uh, this was a pretty solid show. Took a little bit, you know, uh, but as most origin stories generally do, they drag a bit. That was cool, man. I really like that. Avenger God, a cost player with too much time on their hands. Not this one. <laughs> I've never seen powers like that. Is this the DLD? Oh, yeah. Bring her in. Bring her in. Who's that? What's that? What's that all about? They making a list. He look. He kind of looked familiar, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, folks. Okay, so there you have it. That's the latest episode of or the uh, premiere of. I almost said Avenger Con. Uh, that's the premiere of Miss Marvel. I actually like how much they did an influence of uh, the uh, uh, Captain Marvel herself. And having the Avengers um, it, it somewhat had lots of familiar beats to uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, to be honest. Um, like, you know, this just standing Iron Man and all that. But it, it's not it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Like, um, I saw this one issue um, or this one issue joke going around showing about all the avengers uh how the new avengers are going to be uh like when yelena joins the young avengers and she finds out that they're all like avenger stands right because uh, kate bishop is a hawkeye stand uh peter parker uh, an iron man stand uh then kamala uh you have uh uh, obviously a Miss Marvel stand like that and then uh, the mm, I don't know about Wicon uh, Wiccan and the others I guess they stand their mom I don't know it's very possible right anyways um, no I thought I thought it was pretty solid and I, I like I think it did a really good job of like um, uh, a little dry in the beginning but like like again most origin stories it's just kind of that way but they did a really good job of setting up the idea of like who do you want to be uh, they again another nod from um uh what's that movie <laughs> spider-verse uh, the miles morales the spider-verse the first movie with about greater expectations and um what are you trying to be it's a nice coming of age thing and it's a nice twist on you know it's not the like we don't have the, no longer do we have like these old people writing high school dramas and stories like this definitely felt like okay this is a high school that can be related to that it's not as uh, vintage as like a lot of these uh, Hollywood uh, shows will do when they feature people in high school right uh, it's dated it's really dated this looked like a more updated version in a proper way and like I said before um, the Comic Con that they did, our Avenger Con that they were doing in Jersey, it kind of reminded me of comic conventions before, like the the huge companies took over and things like that. Obviously, some of the stuff in there was a little more expensive. I ain't never seen popcorn avail uh, available at uh, a <laughs> con. Actually, I have. Actually, I have. But I guess it would have been a little too expensive and publicized if they did like the typical like technically if they're in jersey and if there really was going to be an avenger con it'd be at the javits convention center for sure we all know it we all know it but you know they look like they did that in hoboken or something like that uh, across the pond right but uh you know uh that's bad. i guess that's it i'm just kind of thinking about how i actually do stay in jersey to go to new york comic con so it it's interesting, but, uh, no, I really like it. it. It really, you, unlike, I would say, unlike, uh, Moon Knight, right? Our, uh, which was the last one. Uh, I would say that you could really feel the MCU in this episode. episode. You could see the, what sort of influences that the, that the Avengers have had on the, um, uh, the, the, the planet, right? Now, and they kind of answered it because I, one thing I was kind of saying is like, why does everybody know like every detail of what happened in the battle for the planet? You know, the battle against Thanos, the final battle against Thanos. Um, you know, why does everybody know things, these things so well in this world? Right. Well, 
they kind of answered it. I guess Ant-Man was essentially just spilling the beans on his podcast and just saying how everything happened, um, which I guess that kind of works, I guess. You know, I, I didn't I didn't think that Ant-Man was... Th I guess Ant-Man was free enough that he could observe what was going on. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, guys, full reaction is available on Patreon. This is a good start. Um... I'll stick around. I'll try one more. Like, let's see how well this goes. Uh, let's see how well it performs on YouTube. Also, that's another big thing because now every Wednesday it's like double duty for me, like knocking out Obi Wan and uh, Miss Marvel to, for editing and such. So, um, let's see how well it performs. And if it does well enough, you know, we'll continue on uh, on YouTube making the edits for YouTube. But we shall see, okay? But definitely check out the full reactions. They'll always be there. Love, peace, chicken grease, and I'll talk to you next week for that double dose of Disney. Peace.